Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cook with Brooke, the cooking show that doesn't have any food. This is all about what's going on at the Air Force Enlisted Village. Well, it's great to be back with you again. Look forward to a great show today. We're going to have Ashley Bailey on from the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office here, and she'll talk a little bit about crime prevention, some scams, and some things that she's seeing in the local area. Uh, as you recall, we started these videos a long time ago when we were um, first dealing with COVID and some of the issues that were going on. We've since changed that a little bit. Now it's more generally what's going on around the Air Force Enlisted Village. I'll tell you, the campus looks great right now. You can see that we've completed the roof over in Village 4. Uh, the landscaping is starting to grow. Spring is here. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot of pollen in the air also. But the campus is looking beautiful. Uh, kudos to everyone that's involved in that. Um, you will continue to see improvements around the campus as we go forward. At some point in the near future, we're going to start putting a new roof over at our headquarters building, which is really the entry place for people that are visiting the campus for the first time. So it'll be great to have that updated. And then, of course, we're going to continue on with the rest of the work that we're doing around the campus. We really look forward to spending a little bit of time today with Ashley and hearing about what's going on. Uh, but before we do that, you know we have to put in our jokes. So, since we have crime as our main theme today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about criminals. So the guy walks into the bank, pulls out a gun, points at the teller and screams, give me all your money or your geography. And the teller says, don't you mean history? And the robber says, don't change the subject. All right, that was kind of lame. Um, but they're all kind of lame, really. Um, it, of course, people who rob jewelry stores and banks are pretty bad but people who rob bakeries take the cake. Okay, speaking of food, we're gonna cut over now to Carrie Knife where we're gonna take a look at what's on her menu over at Knife's Edge. Looking forward to seeing what she has for us. everybody welcome back that food over at knife's edge sounds fantastic can't wait to get over there and check it out so we again have the pleasure of having ashley bailey join us on cook with brooke and we're going to ask her a couple questions and just kind of hear the latest about what's going on in crime prevention in our local area and then also maybe talk about some of the scams and things that you're seeing so thank you for coming back Thank you so much for always having me. I always love it when I get to come here and visit. It feels like a second home almost. <laughs> I've gotten to come so much. But um, so the main thing is still lock your car, lock your car, lock your car. <laughs> so, you know, it's still the number one crime and issue we have. And I assume as we come into summer, we typically see an uptick. So I think we'll have an uptick in this summer as well. But um, that's the big one, of course. It's just watching your purse, watching your car, uh, locking everything up, and um, not leaving your purse ladies in the grocery cart. That's another big one. We had a case not very long ago where we had a lady um, had been pickpocketed while her purse was sitting in the shopping cart. So, yeah. Yeah, and um, we're seeing that as well. It's so. so easy to just relax because we, it feels like such a safe place, especially when you're surrounded by neighbors and military people, that people that you feel like you can trust, but you let your guard down for a moment. And yeah. Then, yeah. yeah, and people forget that we do live in a really wonderful, safe community, but it's still not Mayberry because we have such an influx of so many people that come. And so, you know, we've already hit spree break. Now mm -hmm. we're moving into summer. And so, you know, whenever you have an influx of a bunch of other people, it changes the dynamic and changes the mix a little bit of um, things. So just reminding everybody to 
practice some basic crime prevention, locking stuff, keeping an eye on your things is at least good enough for now. So, yeah, you um, have to be very careful. Yes, and so frauds and scams, kind of the same way. You have to be very skeptical, and you can't trust people these days because everybody's looking for a quick buck. And so, um, you know, as always, there's some common scams that I say that will never die, the granny grandpa scam being one of them. It's kind of morphed even throughout the years now where it's, sons and daughters getting phone calls from moms and dads supposedly or lawyers of moms and dads so we've seen that kind of change so i always recommend that people have a family code word or phrase oh, yeah. so you know in the event something does happen to anybody within the family mm -hmm. the whole family the big extended family then at least you know you've got that to kind of lean on and know if it really is a legitimate phone call or or not and there's some attributes too of a lot of these scams that should tip people off, right? Like if they ask you to go to get a gift card, yeah, or to go someplace and um, and get money from an area that doesn't make any sense at all. Correct. So that was the other big one. Is the other big red flags are for the jury duty scam, the social security scam, the IRS scam. Uh, pretty much a joke can say it's my government's calling scam. Mm. Um, all of those seem to have the common thread of to go buy that gift card. Typically it's Apple, Amazon, but recently we've had a couple cases where they were sending people even to get Lowe's and Home Depot mm. gift cards. So that was a little twist recently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, as a reminder, we still pay bills the old fashioned way. That has not changed. Mm -hmm. You know, cash, currency, and just using a good old check or a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, whichever credit card. But those prepaid Visas, no go. Like, <laughs> don't go to the store and get a Visa and put money on it. That's not the same thing as your credit card. Right, well, that's super smart. All right, so we're going to cut away. We're going to go take a look at our December birthdays, and then we're going to be right back. Although I said December, and I bet you it's not December. I bet you we should be talking about our April birthdays. So we'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back from our birthday people from the month of April, not December. Uh, we are back with Ashley Bailey and we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the crime and scam things that she is seeing going on in our local area. Um, and we were just talking a second ago about how sophisticated people are becoming um, at trying to get information and then exploit people. Absolutely, absolutely. So. You know, these scammers are really, really tricky and they they perfect that. You know, they, they use something um, called where they can read people. So there's ways that they have perfected being able to read people, not only your digital footprint, 
but even through conversation. And so they learn to read people, to hack into things and be able to get stuff. So, you know, as a reminder, Microsoft will not call you. Apple will not call you to see if you've had anything updated. I know that um, the one of the individuals that I was speaking about that fell for the scam, he fell for it because he was looking for a customer service number and when he called the customer service number, he had just Googled a specific company. Mm. And when he Googled the company, the number that he got was actually to the bad guys. It wasn't mm. customer service anymore. So, you know, a, one of the bad things that has happened, I think, post-COVID is that we've lost from so many companies having those customer service numbers. Mm. Now people are going these big companies are going to, there's no longer anybody that you can actually get on the phone. It's AI now, mm -hmm. you know, artificial intelligence. And it's that through typing and messaging. Most of the, you know, most of these companies now, you get on their website and you have to chat with them mm -hmm. via the internet. You can't do the old fashioned, call a customer service, pick up the phone anymore and get anybody. And so, you know, as a reminder, that sometimes you might need to be skeptical when you're looking up those customer service numbers or those other phone numbers. You might not get who you think you have. Right. It's kind of scary, too. I mean, my wife and I make a, um, a deliberate effort not to physically speak our passwords around our devices. And that may be just a little paranoid, but maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> you know, maybe not. You know, we talk about protecting our passwords and... I tell my seniors, you know, I'd much rather you write it down, even if you have to, and stick it somewhere, because nowadays you're way more likely to be hacked online than you are from somebody counter surfing, whatever, though that still can happen. So, you know, having a strong and long password is really important. They're, you know, it's just so crazy. Last year we were up to 14 characters. This year our IT and cybercrimes folks are telling me anywhere from 20 to 25 characters mm -hmm. now for a password. So, you know, one of the things that I personally did was went to actually using a, a quote or a Bible verse mm -hmm. as a way to try to help me remember because who can remember 25 <laughs> characters? You know, Absolutely. I certainly can't, you know. Yeah. But um, making sure that you have them long and strong, we mm -hmm. say, with different caps and lower cases and the funky characters, as I say, and numbers, and making sure you have all of that, especially if you use Netflix, Amazon, social media, right. Facebook has to be a crazy long password these days, folks, because they are getting hacked right and left. And I know retired deputies that are gotten mm -hmm. hacked. Yeah. So it's just an example of, it can really happen to anybody. It can, and it's it's also difficult because you shouldn't use the same password in multiple sites. Right. Which is very hard to do, because that means for all the different logons that you have, you should have an individual password, which Correct. most people don't do. And I'll, be honest about that myself. So you just have to be very, very careful and uh, take the extra precautions. Uh, w one final thing would be about you know people that solicit information. So like an email that comes in and says, you know your Microsoft account needs updated. You know, um, can you talk a little bit about that? So yeah, the phishing scams. We're seeing those a lot. So that's you know it's phishing. You get the stuff through. My husband called me down yesterday. We had a text from something that looked like it could be one of the banks we used and it was saying that possibly one of our credit cards was compromised mm -hmm. and I joked with him I said when in doubt just delete it out because <laughs> you know just get rid of it and so it was one of those it was a scam so you know emails texts now even unsolicited phone calls listen to your gut if you aren't sure and you're even hesitating at all, just delete it and call that company directly. Look at the back of your credit card, call your bank directly, find out whoever it is to see if you're having any problems or issues. Well, that's smart. Well, thank you so much for coming out again and sharing some insight. Um, 
I know we're going to have you back out again because I this so. doesn't ever stop. Uh, we do have some resources for you, though. There's some crime prevention resources and information. Uh, there's a great app that the Sheriff's Department has that you'll be able to get more information on, and we'll have a slide up that will show you that. But again, Ashley, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for your passion and your caring for our residents here at the Air Force so, Enlisted Village. And I just want to remind all the ladies and my gentlemen, if you need me, do not hesitate to call me on my cell number. I know you all have it. And it's on that app. So you can track me back down if you need anything. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks so much. And we'll be right back. Thank you. everybody i hope that you enjoyed this episode of cook with brooke it was great having ashley bailey on here talking about some of the things that she's seeing in the crime prevention and then the scam areas uh, it's always important to pay attention to what's going on in your surroundings and of course because of the type of community that we live in we're very connected as let's make sure that we're watching out for each other so i hope that you had a great easter weekend God bless you all. We will see you again soon. Thank you very much.